Lakefront TV. I am Miss Leesburg, Madison Rowland. And I am Claire Carlton, Teen Miss Leesburg. Welcome to Community Cafe, your dose of inspiration with community exploration. On this show, we will be your trusted guides as we get hands-on and explore the many ways we give back to our Leesburg community through conversation and action. To get things started, we are excited to share with you some of the events taking place in the month of January. Making a comeback beginning on Saturday, January 6th, is the Leesburg Saturday Morning Market, taking place every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Market Street. The annual MLK Parade is taking place on Saturday, January 20th at 11 a.m., followed by Soul Fest 2024. For more exciting events happening in Leesburg, visit leesburgflorida.gov. We hope to see you all there. Today's conversation, we will be looking back on our journey this far. We're both very passionate about the act of giving, and we're both very grateful for the opportunity to be a part of the Miss Leesburg Scholarship Program, which aligns our passion with the goals of supporting our community. Later in our program, we will be joined by the director of Miss Leesburg Scholarship Program, Linda Watts, where she will share the evolution of the program. Some of the evolution began with us, Maddie, when we were crowned to serve in September 2023. What an exciting process it was to be named. What encouraged you to pursue the Miss Leesburg title? So ever since I was little, I've been involved in pageantry, and thanks to pageantry, I've been involved in volunteering as well. So it's always just been a part of my life, and going into my senior year, you kind of get to lose a lot of these opportunities as you grow older, so I was like, why not take the chance while I have it? And I won, and I've just been thankful for the process. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Claire? Like, what inspired you to want to be Teen Miss Leesburg? Well, I've grown up in Leesburg my entire life. I was born here. So really, I just wanted the opportunity to give back to this community that I was born and raised in. Also, I did just want to be able to connect with my four other sisters and meet a bunch of new people and connect with them. Yes, that's amazing, Claire. I can relate to that a lot. And let's not forget continuing the great tradition of working with Lakefront TV. We are thrilled about taking on this aspect of the role to bring you fun and exciting stories like the first ever Christmas festival, Light of Venetian Gardens, and Boat Parade. And how about working with the Leesburg Police Department and their holiday gift roll event? Matter of fact, Claire, why don't we share this story just in case folks missed it? So today is pretty remarkable. We have invited Miss Leesburg program as well as the Florida Hometime USA program to come and help us wrap gifts for the elementary school and the middle school programs that we're hosting. My name is Sergeant Shannon Welsh and I'm with Community Services and Crime Prevention here at the Leesburg Police Department. We've had every child fill out a wish list of what they wanted. We gave those wish lists to the officers. Utilizing a business of Amazon, we allowed the officers to go create shopping lists for that child. We took those, purchased them, and here we are having a wrapping party. I'm hoping the boys and girls at Carver Middle School love these gifts. The students were selected by the school liaisons, so we are representing three different elementary schools, Rhymes, Beverly Shores, and Leesburg Elementary, and we have 10 students from each school. And then we do have our middle school program from Carver Middle and Oak Park Middle. This event is important for our department because not only do we get to serve in one capacity, but it allows us to step outside the box and show the community members a different side of us. Gift giving is very important for us, not only because these children may go without the holidays without being able to get something, it allows us to kind of fulfill our own mission and making sure that we get to show them just a little something extra during the holiday season. Being able to call upon Ms. Linda Watts, who's the director of the Florida Hometown USA and the Miss Leesburg program, is quite phenomenal. She brought an army of ladies to come here and wrap these presents, which was under an hour. All done. All right, ready to go. Um, this is just a really amazing thing that they're doing, and it's really awesome to see how everyone's coming together to provide gifts for children this Christmas. I'm thinking this is an awesome thing for us to be involved with, and I hope everyone loves their gifts.
You can't wrap without cookies. Well, everything's going great. These girls have really made a huge dent in wrapping all of these presents. Um, today at this event, we wrapped presents based off of the kids' wish list and we bagged them up and labeled them so that at Skate World we can give them all out without any issues. So it's one of the best gifts because it's an impact that will be like a long lasting impact on kids and so to be able to give back to them and know they'll always remember this day is just truly amazing. Happy Holidays! I would just like to give a special thank you to the Leesburg Police Department and putting on this amazing event and allowing us to be a part of it. It was really special. Good job, Maddie. Good job, Claire. So on behalf of the Leesburg Police Department, we wish you a safe and happy holiday season. Happy Holidays! Oh, what a great flashback. But we can't forget to mention how cool it was to host the big guy himself, Santa Claus. As he read us, Twas the Night Before Christmas at the Lakefront TV Holiday Special. And to think, that was just the beginning. When we come back, Miss Linda Watts from the Miss Lee's First Scholarship Pageant will be joining us to take a look at what's in store for 2024. Ready for chick